today we're going to be giving you guys the best x Defy class setups so we're going to be breaking down the attachments and give you a better understanding on why these guns are built the way they are so we have 10 class setups right now and we're going to have an extra bonus one at the end but let's talk about the good old mp7 which i think is currently one of the meta smgs in the game for this build we're going to be extending the damage range on the mp7 because overall this gun has pretty much everything you need so we're going to be rocking the barrel extender which is going to help increase the damage range by 10 percent dan we're going to be also running the chrome line barrel which is also going to be increasing your damage by 20 percent from short to medium now if you did not know if you click triangle you can go more in depth and see all the numbers and you know check how much is the damage range and how much it's changing and affecting the actual weapon that's a pretty cool thing to know and, and learn for the front rail we're going to be running the super light for the ads speed plus movement speed so this is a very good attachment for most smgs we're going to be rocking quick draw because this is one of the only attachments that gives you sprint to shoot time which is like sprint to fire and ads speed you lose a little bit of stability but it's not really very impactful when it comes to your attachments and we're going to be rocking lightweight stock this attachment alone helps with the strafing and this gun strafes very, very fast back and forth and that's what you're going to really utilize with this weapon so with this build you pretty much have it all very low recoil extremely good damage range very good movement and you know the handling is just amazing something to note about this weapon as well this gun is a six shot kill at most ranges but with a secret attachment you can make it a five shot kill to do that you simply want to equip the heavy barrel and i'm gonna show you really quickly right now it's a 19 damage up to 20 meters that's 19 bullets right we have it a total of 100 hp obviously 19 times 5 doesn't equal 100 but what happens when you add the heavy barrel increases it by one and makes it 20 so now 20 times 5 is 100 so basically as long as it's 17 meter range now you can kill in five bullets and wellness bullet obviously at the cost of losing a little bit of fire rate but this is also a cool build you can also try we're going to be talking about in my opinion also the best secondary aka the 93r which is like a burst pistol for this we're going to be rocking the muzzle barrel extender for the damage range short and medium range boost we're going to be rocking the reflex sight because i just like it with a sight it looks easier to shoot and trace send the mags if you want to have that extra ammo if you feel like you don't need it you can run quick mags we're going to be rocking quick draw grip which is just amazing sprint to shoot time and ads speed and of course the reinforced stock but enough mp7 now let's talk about the next class which is the vector 45 again one of the best smgs in the game right now in my opinion the mp7 and the vector are the two best smgs and this is another amazing class we're gonna go really quickly with the barrel extender to increase the damage range a little bit more but we're gonna be talking about the heavy build so this is a very similar boat like the mp7 so basically we're gonna equip the heavy barrel on this build and that way instead of a six shot kill it's a five shot kill because it puts up the damage all the way up to 20 as you can see in the bottom left so why is this good on the vector well the vector has a high fire rate and a lot of you guys know that so basically you run out of ammo very quickly so this basically matches the time to kill or even maybe slightly faster sometimes with this attachment and you get to reserve more ammo which can lead to double kills triple kills whatever it may be and for some reason you don't like the heavy barrel build then you could definitely put on the lightweight barrel which is probably the next thing i would run or if you want to increase the ttk from range you can also put on the chrome line barrel so this class has been treating me very well for the front rail we're gonna be rocking a super light again just such an amazing attachment you get a huge boost to ads speed and movement speed the negative is recoil recovery but it doesn't make it's not that impactful again when it comes to attachments we're gonna be rocking the good old fast mags because this gun needs that quick reload and it gives you obviously five extra bullets now extended mags is pretty good on the vector but i feel like the fast mag just has more upside and also the fast mags allows you to play at a faster pace which can lead to more kills which i'll be showing you guys the heavy barrel equipped with the fast mags this feels like it, it's it's at a really good spot and then for the rear grip we're gonna be running the good old quick draw for the sprint shootout time and ads speed for my next class we got the good old AK-47, which is one of the best assault rifles in the game. We're going to be rocking the muzzle brake, which is going to help you with the horizontal recoil control at a very small cost of damage range. So it's really good. Normally with weapons, what you really want to aim for is controlling the horizontal over the vertical because vertical, it's just holding down on controller, or even mouse and key controlling horizontal can be a little bit more difficult. I have two builds for this barrel. So I'm explaining to you guys really quick. The rapid fire barrel is good. It's going to help you kill faster, but it's harder to control. And the AK-47 already kind of has a kick to it so if you think you can control it or if you're playing a smaller map a rapid fire barrel definitely hits the spot it's a good it's a good attachment if you feel like you're going to struggle with controlling it and you want more movement speed and ads speed then run the lightweight barrel this is kind of what i've been running i usually run the brake lightweight then of course a red dot because i love the red dot on these ars uh quick mag quick mag is just so good for, especially for right now if you're playing like rank play you don't necessarily need quick mag but for like you know running around pub stomping going for high kill games quick mag is amazing and then we're gonna be rocking quick draw because this 
this attachment is just incredible. But if there, if I were to change one attachment, it would be to put rapid fire. But that's pretty much it. And this is a, an amazing build. For secondaries, really quick, this is also another really good secondary. It's the Deagle, aka the D50. And I got the muzzle booster on this for a faster fire rate. I got the reflex optic sight. I got the quick mag magazine. And I got the lightweight grip for the recoil recovery, which is huge when it comes to like single fire guns. Our uh, recoil recovery is very good, even like burst guns. And really quick, when you come to my AK class for my M1911 secondary, I did make a quick class. I got the muzzle booster, reflex sight, quick mag, and quick draw in case someone wants to run that. Now for my class set of four, we're going to be talking about the good old MP5. Now the MP5 is like the worst SMG in the game. That's just my opinion, but a lot of people agree with me. This gun just in this game right now it does not hit it, it it has a lot of downside the only upside is like it's the handling is really good it's like fast uh for the muzzle i run the muzzle brake for controlling the horizontal i run the rapid fire barrel now the rapid fire barrel just feels like kind of ups the time to kill which the mp5 lacks and it helps it does help but the downside is the recoil control is a little bit difficult at range and that's just the thing that sucks about it if you feel like you can't control this because it is a little bit difficult you can put on the chrome line barrel to help increase that damage range what is going to help at range to get like the time to kill a little bit faster but rapid fire is really what's going to help you just kill faster in general if you can control it and we got the super light grip for the front rail again ads speed plus movement speed we got the good old quick mag for the reload speed plus the magazine side and then the quick draw which you're going to see a lot this attachment on almost every single weapon because it's just so good and you definitely want to be using it for my secondary i got the m9 just to give you guys an m9 class real quick uh, muzzle booster reflex quick mags and quick draw and let's go to my class out of five the good old acr which is one of the best ars in the game right now this thing is absolutely incredible and i got the muzzle brake again to control that horizontal recoil for the barrel we're going to be rocking the rapid fire barrel now the acr compared to the ak-47 their acr has better recoil control so when you slap something like a rapid fire barrel on it and you have the right attachments you can still control it pretty well it's not as difficult and it's going to help with the time to kill, which is the number one goal in any shooting game or any game that you're playing against other people. We're going to be rocking the obviously the reflex site, the red dot. Then we got the quick mag and then we have quick draw. So that's a class I'm really liking right now. And now we're going to be talking about the M4, probably one of the worst guns in the game. Now, nah, but seriously, it's probably one of the worst ARs. The thing it lacks is TTK. The time to kill with this gun is just pretty bad compared to the other ARs. And for that reason, it's kind of bad. But with this build, you might change your mind. And on top of it, what I will say, certain guns and certain builds also do better with the cleaners faction. So this for example this build right here run it with cleaners and you're probably going to be like wow this gun is actually pretty good this build feels good the time to kill is going to feel pretty awesome so it's a very similar build we're going to be running the muzzle break again for the horizontal recoil control we're going to be rock rocking this rapid fire build to up that time to kill just like a similar situation like the mp5 time to kill slow we need to speed it up and then we got the reflex sight the quick draw rear grip and the precision stock to help control that recoil pair this with the cleaners faction it's going to feel like the time to kill is a lot better for the next one the md DR, which in my opinion is one of the most slept on weapons and the most underrated guns now this gun is interesting it's a hybrid it's kind of like an ar sub so that's what makes it really fun but trust me i get some crazy kills with this we're gonna be rocking the chrome line barrel for the huge boost in short and medium range damage and you can see the stats what it does so base 23 meters it ups it to 28 meters at short range and then medium 35 meters up to 42 meters so it gives it a pretty big uh, increase in meters in terms of like how much the damage is going to do and then obviously you got the super light again especially with a weapon like this that's like a hybrid sub ar i like to rock the super light for the especially for the huge boost in ads speed and i'll tell you why in a, in a second for the magazine we got the quick mag uh this attachment one of my favorites the thing about the other ones is unless you absolutely need them like the vector the cons are just not worth it really the, the extended mags and fast mags the cons aren't worth it unless you absolutely need it like a vector where it's like okay i need ammo uh the quick mag is just the way to go and for the rear grip we got the good old quick draw one of my favorite attachments in the game almost a crutch and then we got the stock lightweight this is going to increase the strafing speed on top of a little bit of boost in movement speed and this strafe is going to feel awesome it's going to win you some gunfights that you probably shouldn't have won the problem about this is it makes you lose ads speed so that's why we're going to be rocking quick draw and super light to help increase that ads speed and now for the p90 this gun is kind of a mediocre smg it's still really good but when it comes compared to the mp7 and the vector those guns are just better this gun is obviously really good for pubs especially with the huge magazine it has so we're going to be rocking the muzzle break again one of my most favorite attachments the horizontal recoil control boost is great and then plus on top of it the negatives are just very low we're going to be rocking our rapid fire for that huge increase in fire rate make this thing shoot super fast and up the ttk on it we're going to be running the super light front rail against 
stats with the super light grip, the movement speed, and ADS speed. We're going to be rocking the quick draw, one of my favorites. And for the stock, we're going to be rocking the precision stock to help give you better recoil control, right? Horizontal and vertical, especially when paired up with something like rapid fire, which takes a lot of recoil away. This build is going to feel great. It's going to feel awesome in a lot of ways, and it gets the job done. It's a really fun class. You definitely should try it out. Next, we got the good old M16, one of the best ARs in the game, but for some reason, when I use it, I'm not the biggest fan of it, maybe because it's a burst. If you miss a burst, it can get you killed. So we're going to be rocking the cheese build. This build is what makes it really OP. We're going to be rocking the muzzle booster and the rapid fire for a huge increase in fire rate. And this thing has like no recoil. So like even though you're getting negatives to recoil, you're barely going to notice it. And it just ups the time to kill by a lot. And obviously we got the good old optic reflex red dot. And then we got the quick mag magazine and we got the quick draw rear grip. This is just this attachment is just great. You can definitely mess around with the magazine. The magazine isn't always necessary because you have 30 bullets and it's a lot of ammo as it is. So I don't always run a magazine. You could definitely put the super light grip on, or if you want, you could put like the lightweight stock on or even padded. The thing about burst guns like this, like you want good recoil recovery. So even a padded stock will be pretty good. Next, we're going to be talking about the M249. In my opinion, an insane LMG and it's very dominant. This thing kills very fast and has like no recoil. Now, there's a couple ways to build this thing, but this is what I've really been liking. I, again, muzzle break. Uh, we got the rapid fire barrel to help that time to kill. We got the super light grip. We got the reflex red dot and we got the quick draw grip. Now, there's a couple ways things you can do. You can definitely take off the red dot if you are OK using the iron sight and then you could put a stock on if you want a little bit more strafe. But then the ADS speed is going to feel a little bit slower or you can add obviously the precision stock for more recoil control. But normally, I don't know. I've tried the iron sight. I don't mind it, but the red dot just feels at home. It just feels so much better. And I know you guys are going to be asking for a sniper class. So we're going to be giving you guys an M44 class setup. Now, the thing about both snipers is ideally this is the way you want to build it so you can apply this to the attack 50 as well right now we're going to be rocking the muzzle booster this is obviously going to increase the fire rate this is probably the best attachment you can run in terms of muzzle for the barrel we're going to be rocking the lightweight barrel 15 percent to ads speed and five percent to movement speed this is obviously good for quick scoping and something i really want to note with this is this gun has 70 damage at all ranges and no matter what you change or no matter how much negatives you take away from the damage range it's not going to change anything and this is a huge attachment. We're going to be rocking the default scope. It's the one I like and the one it's the one that feels just the best. We're going to be rocking the quick draw grip for the sprint all time and ADS speed. And then for the stock, we're going to be rocking the padded stock. Thank you so much for watching today's video. Make sure to like, comment and subscribe. It helps a ton. And we got more tips and tricks coming. Don't forget as well. I'm always live at twitch.tv slash apathy. If you want to come watch me live and I'll see you guys in the next one.